back to my channel one more time. I am doing this affordable drugstore everyday glam look. And what I mean by everyday glam is in this video, I show you guys how I do my foundation, my powder, my concealers, um, my concealer, you know, contouring, highlight, bronzing. I show you guys how to do that stuff, and that stuff I do every single day because I do like to focus on my face. Um, but the glam part is in the eyes. I usually don't do eyeshadow, but today I did eyeshadow for you guys, and um, I also put a little bit of lipstick on. I spent a little bit more time like on contouring my nose and a little stuff there, so that is what I mean by glam. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, I am a mama, and I love to do makeup videos. I love to to do family videos I love to do vlogs so check out my channel if you haven't yet if you would like to know how I got this makeup look then just keep watching thanks guys so usually whenever I after like a few days I will go in and shave my face I still do this and I if I had one thing to tell you guys is to not do it I'm pretty sure most of you are like Della so you're not supposed to do it like I don't know why people like I don't know why I watch so many videos of people doing it and they're like oh yeah my hair is like doesn't even grow back thicker and they have like a little a little beard or something and I'm just like how did your hair not grow back thicker I should have listened and learned the first time I did it but I didn't so now um, my hair is growing back thicker like of course it's not like I can notice it and it really bugs me because I can notice it um, I don't think other people can notice it so yeah just don't shave your face please because you will regret it so here I am I usually just like to go in between my brows um, and kind of like shaping my brows a little bit I have gotten more brows which is like really nice um, as you guys can see my, my eyebrows are a little bit fuller I don't know how I did that I honestly I guess they just started the hair started growing and I do think it's been from shaving because of course like your hair your hair grows back thicker and whenever I first shaved I think I just shaved off a little too much of my eyebrows so now they're like going back thicker. Um, so I guess that's kind of a good thing that I got from shaving, but still, don't do it. I haven't really been priming my face. I used a few primers, but they just seemed to make my face more oily, and I didn't like that. Um, my face has definitely gotten more oily like towards my T-zone. Um, it used to be like really dry, and I could wear any foundation, I'd be okay. Uh, but today, I think what I'm going to try again is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Stick It to Pores Mattifying Pore Priming Stick. I'm going to try this just because my pores are like kind of really bad right now. Um, around here and around my mustache area and my cheeks. I don't know why, but I get a lot of pores right here. Just so weird. Um, I'm just going to put that on there. And then I'll just go in and very lightly kind of blend it into my skin. Just so the, in case if I got like too much product, it won't sit in one spot. So I have been using my old time favorite, which is this um, Maybelline Super Stay Better Than Skin Skin Fo Transforming Foundation. I take about three pumps of it, just like in the back of my hand. And I apply it to my face. Using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just gonna blend everything in with my sponge. And then after that, I put concealer on. The concealer that I use is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium 30. And whenever I want to go a little bit lighter, I will mix it in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light or Fair 5. Today I'm just going to mix it because I want more of a brighter under eye today because I'm... I slept perfectly fine yesterday, but for some reason I look so tired today. But I felt great from the inside. It was just... I don't know why my eyes just look tired so I just put a tiny bit of this like right there it's and that's a lot you guys and then I like my nose to stand out so I usually just do that and then a little bit on my forehead and I've really been liking these concealers and their formula I love their formula so then with the medium I try not to go over the light I just like to put it like underneath the light um, because I don't know especially underneath my eyes and then I'll put 
there. No, 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 no. I feel like this is gonna be too light for me. <laughs> okay, so then I just go in and I blend my concealer out. I usually blend the medium out first and then the light. I don't know if that even really matters. They all end up blending together. So does that really even matter? I don't think so. That's too much. Then, I know it looks a little too light, but I just go back in with the side that I blended my foundation with, and I just kind of pat the edges of it out, um, and it just, you guys see, like, there's a harsh line here, but once I blend it out, it's like, it looks a little bit nicer and not as harsh. I've really been enjoying the Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. Uh, it's weird because I usually don't like to use this one. I usually like to use the naturally neutral one, and this one's a little bit more orange than this one. This one's a lot more pink on the pinky side, if you guys can see. Since I'm more oily now, I um, have really been enjoying this one. I really like the way it sets my face. Oh, girl. So much powder everywhere. Take a little bit of that on my sponge and I'm gonna set underneath my eyes. I'm just blending out the creases and I'm just gonna go in. And I'm just using my sponge to set it. I like to use a sponge because it presses the powder in and I just really like the effect. It gives more of like a flawless effect. Usually I just quickly set, I don't bake or anything. And then I do like to put some around my smile. Who am I kidding? I like to put this like everywhere. I just like to blend it in with the sponge literally everywhere. And it just makes me look so flawless. So around my nose area, that's like my most troublesome area because all my foundation just ends up rubbing off or a lot of my foundation ends up rubbing off. But I've noticed that if I put and I pack this powder on my nose, I know I look crazy. But if I like pack it on my nose and then press the powder into my nose, it helps with the with the product coming off my nose really easily and being so oily. To bring some life back into my face, some color back into my face because I do look a little bit pale right now. Um, and then also to dust away some of that translucent powder, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Powder. And it's in 235 Pure Beige. I'm using the It Cosmetics Airbrush Powder Brush. I love this brush to set my face. Um, and then I just go in and kind of press and blend the powder into my face. time to bronze up my face. I'm going to go into my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette um, and I'm just going to use this brush by Studio 35 Beauty or 35, I don't know. Something like that. It's a, I will have it on the screen for you guys. Um, but I like to mix this one right here and then also this one right here together. contour a little bit of my like cheeks and I think that's about it. I'm gonna go back into this contour palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and this one just a tiny bit. I'm gonna use this brush by Studio 5 or Studio 36 or something like that beauty um, and I'm gonna take the kind of angled side and I will just apply the product like on one side I'll tap on both of them I'll apply it like on one side of the brush and on that side I will start contour my cheeks and then with the side that doesn't have any product I will blend um, it out I don't know it's just a technique that works for me because if I were to put product on the whole brush and um, apply it to my face it just wouldn't look right and that's whenever you get like really muddy really fast because you put so much product on your brush see that nice contour line it is so good and that's how I get my contour lines because it's just that's Leah and then I also sometimes like to go like underneath my lip 
to contour a little bit. Leah thinks I'm talking to her. Okay, y'all, so now we're moving to blush. Um, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Tulip Blush Duo. I'm gonna use this beautiful pinky quarterly. It's so beautiful. This for my cheek. And I'm gonna use this like unicorn brush. It is so cute, but my friend gave it to me. Then I will always go back in with like my bronzing brush and just kind of go over it. I don't know why I do that, but I have to go over it. I don't know why. It's just kind of like to blend everything out, I guess. The kids are like running upstairs because they are on Thanksgiving break. So if this up, if this is up before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you guys have a great time. I hope you guys eat a lot of whatever you eat. Tamales, pozole, ponche, I don't know. You let me know, okay? I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit more. I know on camera it does look a little bit contoured. Even like here it looks a little bit contoured. I'm just gonna go in and kind of perfect and blend out the lines. Um, I usually don't do this on an everyday basis, but I'm about to go out, so I'm gonna do this right now, so. Okay, um, I'm gonna use this kind of very, very neutral, neutral shade. I'm using this brush by BH Cosmetics, and I'm just, why did I say it like that? I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I'm just gonna go in, and I like to just perfect like the tip of my nose. I don't know if you've been a difference I just to me it makes it I don't know why it looks so kind of like yellow toned don't know why but it's okay whatever we're gonna keep moving on I like to go back in with a sponge and kind of perfect my lines that I only can see I'm gonna highlight now um, I'm going to use the Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. You guys can't see her name because it's all rubbed off. But um, I'm going to highlight with this palette. And my favorite two highlights are these two right here. Um, it used to be this one. That's why it was like almost gone because I would wear it all the time. But not no more. I like to mix both of them together. And I just take my finger and I literally like dip, dip, and that's it. That's it. That's all I do because it, get, it can get a little intense like super fast. Tap on like the tip of my nose and then I also like to like very very lightly go go on the bridge of my nose and then with the clean finger I like to just kind of like blend it in and then I like to go I keep it bow that it that's all I like to highlight the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use today is the elf made for matte eyeshadow palette it is so beautiful you guys i'm gonna go in with a little flat brush like this and i'm gonna go into this cream shade right here and set the eyelid and crease and then i'm gonna put a little bit of this my brow bone i don't like to do my brows before my eyeshadow and i know that can bug some people so if it bugs you i'm so sorry it's just what i i like to do it that way and you do whatever you like to do because we're all different people. So then we're gonna start in our crease. I want to use this pinky shade right here um, as a transition shade. So I'm just gonna go in with the Sephora rounded crease brush. I'm gonna deepen that pinky shade up with this shade right here. I'm gonna take this um, Sony Kasha brush and I'm just gonna use that to blend this shadow in. I'm gonna try to focus the shadow towards like the outer part of my eye. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of this shade with this fluffy brush and kind of just like drag it over everything because I just, I want that warmth. I don't know, it's weird for me not to have that warmth. For some actual depth in my eyes, I'm just going to go in with this light brown gray tone. Um, I don't want to go in with such an intense brown yet just to see like how and how it looks with a little bit of depth but i'm using this brush by a cosmetics and it's the airbrush crease brush i'm just gonna add a little bit of sparkle 
in that little area that I have like no shadow on. I'm gonna go back into the Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna use this shadow right here and I really really enjoy using this shadow just because it does give you a little bit of sparkle. It gives you a little bit of color but I just it's different. It's a different eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this brush right here by Sephora and it's the angled shadow brush to apply it. Probably switch to my finger anyways because I really do like using my finger with this eyeshadow and eyebrows I'm gonna fast forward through them um, but I'm gonna use the Smashbox Shape Matters um, eyes little palette right here I'm gonna use this dark brown shade and I'm gonna use this brush by BH Cosmetics not actually an eyebrow brush but I use it for eyebrows because it's so little I'm gonna do my bottom lash line and I'm gonna use this one this one and then this one to deepen up the eye the outer part of my lower lash line and the brush that I'm using is the Sephora small shadow brush it's the one that I used to put that light shadow all over my eyes so my camera died, I got off camera and charged my camera and I did my hair for you guys. So I know it looks kind of crazy and it takes up a lot of the screen. Like it was so different because I had my hair up so you guys could see like the light in the back. But my hair just takes up a lot of the screen because it's so, it's so big and fluffy. I just curled it and put some hairspray in it. It's just really simple. I've really been enjoying putting some gel liner but I don't have black gel liner that I like. I've been using this ColourPop. Um, cream gel liner in no shame and it's purple and I mean I don't mind it but I do definitely want to get a black one if they do have a black one in these gel liners because they are so good these gel liners are amazing my waterline it just like just the way it makes my eyes look I usually don't do this but I like it and then I take the brush that I did my brows with and I just deepen up like really close to the lash line I just deepen it out so go in the upper lash line and just put some of this there I'm gonna curl my lashes this is an elf eyelash curler which works fine for me the mascara that I'm gonna use sorry guys the mascara that I'm gonna use is the Maybelline the Colossal Spider Effect volume mascara I like this mascara like I like the formula of it but I don't like the wand and sometimes it just makes my lashes look really weird and I get like it's a spider effect um, but the wand is like really kind of just really weird mix two lipsticks together I'm gonna use the hard candy velvet mousse matte lip color in in daffodil and it's a really pretty bronzy shade but if I put it on it just kind of makes me look a little too it's a little too pale for me so I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this pink this is by lip gasm it's a liquid lipstick and K by Okay guys, so that is it for this everyday glam kind of look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you have, then thank you. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay guys, I'm going to go into the Carly Bible palette. I'm going to go into the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. Um, you guys can't see her. I'm going to go into the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. And you guys can't see her name. Okay. Hopefully this camera will let me record the part, okay? Okay guys, I'm gonna go into the Carly Bible de Deluxe palette. And you left, I lost a part of me. Turn the down, trying to catch a break. Don't things go on where the hell I went wrong. Okay, can we try this camera? Can we just like stop doing this to me? Okay, my camera is officially going crazy. I don't know why it won't let me record. 
Okay. Okay, guys, so to highlight, I haven't really been liking. Oh my gosh, is it actually working? Is it actually working? Is this 